Hello, hello, hello. Beautiful people of the spiritual events directory. I am excited, very, very, very excited. And um, just I'll wait a few moments to see who shows up. <sighs> it's the first time I've done a live. You may have seen uh, my partner Emma on here, as well as my sister Jax doing their thing, talking their talk, loving on all you beautiful people who show up. Hello, hello, Rachida, how are you? And as you jump on, guys, please say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So excited for this tonight. <sighs> Here they come. Awesome, would love some clearing. Hello, Sophie. Hey, Chris, Rachida. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, guys, just to give a bit of a frame for what I'm going to go through here tonight, um, I'm going to start with introducing a bit about myself and my journey with, with health and and how I've gotten to this space that I am in now and the way that I help people um, and sharing a bit of my backstory. And then what we'll do is this is really going to be for people who um, have really, you know, committed to their health in the past and, you know, they've fallen off and they, you know, have held guilt around going back and doing it again or, you know, just struggling to, you know, break past the old emotional habits that have kept them from the, the vitality and the health that they truly want to embody right um so just to, to frame that if and what's going to be happening is i'll be tuning into the to the collective field and the emotions that are present behind like a few statements of of what's holding you guys back when it comes to your uh your health and wanting to better your health or you know letting go of past um, experiences that have, I guess, kept you from committing to a new level of health or going back to it again. So it's going to be very exciting. So if you do know people and if you are interested in that, please stick around and please do share. Like if you do know people who, um, you know, are struggling with their health right now and, you know, can't get past you know, the, the level of health that they've experienced before or they just keep on yo-yoing with their health. Um, the intention here is, should you choose it, should you all choose it, is so that your health and vitality becomes your highest priority and to let go of anything that is holding you back from that. And ultimately, until we can fully take care of ourselves until we can prioritize our health and our well-being first, then how can we truly help others, right? How can we truly be the embodiment of our message and, you know, help people from the space of abundance rather than the space of martyrdom and I have to help you because it means something about me and, um, or just, you know, not having the energy to, to keep going the way that maybe you continuously do and show up for others but you know end up feeling drained and you know not giving yourself the love and attention that you need to be able to fully give to those people in a way that's actually going to help all of us right um so for anyone who is interested and curious about doing a clearing with me you probably have never experienced this before um, but I'm going to get into more about that, right? And, but before I do, uh, I'm going to share a bit of your, my story with you guys. Is that okay? It, is it all good? Drop me a yes in the comments if you would like to hear my backstory with health. And <sighs> hopefully it resonates with you guys. But either way, um, it'll give you a bit of a backstory on my my journey and how it could possibly help you. Yeah. Give them some yeses, get them some yeses. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Ah <sighs> so every time I tell this story I just I get a lot of emotion that come comes up in me. 
But I'm going to keep this super short so we can make the, the rest of the call or the rest of the live based on you guys and helping you clear any emotions that are stopping you from your next level embodiment of health, right? And so for me, it started about four and a half years ago. And at that time, um, I was doing a lot of drugs, drinking a lot of alcohol, um, really trashing my mind, body and soul with you know, shit that didn't need it. My body did not need it. And at the time, I, I guess I'd, I'd label myself as quote unquote unconscious. And, you know, I was, I was dealing drugs and I moved down to Brisbane to start a new life. And within those first three days of moving down to Brisbane, I ended up getting caught. I <laughs> lost my job, lost my license, ended up homeless. And after that, it kind of really led me down this downward spiral of emotion and, and not knowing how to deal with it because I got caught and I was facing jail time. I was literally facing jail time. And so for the three, and a four, three to four months after that, um, what happened was I just kept going to the same route of dealing with my emotions that I only knew, right? Which was, you know, drinking heavily, um, drugs again every weekend until I got to the point where I, I woke up I literally woke up and I was like I have to change something here otherwise I am going to end up in jail and with that decision I as you know as you may know or be aware of the law of attraction I, I started to you know attract some amazing opportunities into my life in which I could then change um, and so I found um, a line of um, health, a health system that has been really beneficial for hundreds and thousands of people. And what happened was I took this as my opportunity to go completely sober. Otherwise, I would have ended up in jail. And so the first three weeks of just trying it out and, and detoxing my body and, you know, letting go of all the old toxins and, and stuff that have, I guess, kept me from feeling myself, feeling what, what, how I was actually um, meant to feel within my body. And three weeks on, I used to love going to festivals, right? Like I loved music festivals, dancing, all that kind of thing. And I used to always go to these festivals to get absolutely written off, right? That was my place. That was where I went to just forget everything, to just let go of all my problems, all of my worries, and, you know, that kind of thing. Let me know if you guys resonate, or if you have some kind of a vice or like somewhere you like to go when you're either feeling emotional or you want to, I guess, escape or, you know, whatever that thing is for you, just drop it in the comments, let me know. Um, and so it was at this festival, right? And it was the first actual test to my own willpower to stay sober. And the test being like, I used to always go to these festivals and get written off. And, and so that had to change. So I took that as like, all right, I'm going to hit this head on. And three weeks in to, to upgrading my health, to detoxing my body, to all those things. I was at this festival, right? Completely sober. And the intention was to go through this, uh, the, the festival completely sober the whole time. And while I was there, like... It was crazy because I was just dancing and, you know, loving the vibes and everything. And it come to this certain moment where I was on the dance floor and I can't, I can't even explain it, but I, I felt higher than I'd ever felt in my whole entire life without drugs or alcohol. And it was in that moment where I, I didn't even know what I was. It was like the true, I guess you could call it Kundalini wake, awakening or, or whatever, but I felt something I've never felt before. And that, that level of energy and, and vitality I'd never experienced. And 
within that, I then made the decision to never drink or do alcohol, drink, uh, do drugs or drink ever again, because I felt that good, right? There was, there was no need for it. And, you know, three and a half years later, I've come back to a place where, you know, after helping, I don't even know how many people, um, to, you know, help get over their addictions and, you know, help them to let go of their, their patterns around whatever, whether it's, whether it's emotional eating or drinking or, or drugs or whatever it was. Um, I didn't go to jail, right? <laughs> that was amazing. Um, but now like I, I created this story, right? I create a massive story that I was this sober guy and I could only ever be a sober guy for, you know, for the rest of my life. But now having gone that journey, I've, I've come to a place where I have a different relationship to it. And, you know, I can have a glass of wine and like just love it and just absolutely, yes, I get to choose this. Like, this is amazing. It's going to be so good for my health and well-being. As I ingest this wine, it's going to make me feel so fucking good. And I just enjoy it. So like, there's, there's a point where whether it's food or whether it's alcohol or whatever, that you have to take that journey of, of abstinence or whatever that may be to then be able to consciously choose the pleasures that you used to hold guilt for, right? <sighs> Natural high, inspiring journey. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. And please, guys, if you do know anyone who is struggling with this right now, um, share this video. If this resonates with you, please share it out. And before I get into this and um, you know, start doing this clearing. It was at it was at the same festival that I I realized um, what it was that actually happened, and it wasn't until a couple of a couple of years after where I started um, learning and trained in a different modality where I learned about the scale of consciousness, and the scale of consciousness is uh, I guess a vibratory measurement or a scale of human emotions and I use a lot of kinesiology and, and muscle testing and also the, the scale of consciousness and what I found within the scale of consciousness I, I realized that at that festival I was able to really start to deal and remove the lower vibrating emotions at the festival and then was able to feel that natural high but now I don't even have to be at a festival to do it to, to feel that just I just wake up in the morning and feel gratitude and, and those kinds of things so it's it's really bringing it back to just us like just our being where we can feel those high vibrations just by the health that we have in our body Right, and and that's what I hope through this clearing to to help get you guys too as well, right? Um, so, and let me know what's resonating, guys. Um, what what you're grabbing? This is awesome to hear. I'm struggling to overcome my bad eating habits. Currently trying my hardest to heal myself from clean eating. Yeah, I feel you, sister. I feel you. Um, what else? Taste the wine. Inspiring journey. Thanks for sharing. We'd love to get your guidance and clearing today. Amazing. Amazing. Jessica, I need to hear your story tonight. Awesome. Resonates so much. Yes. Yes. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. All right. So I'm just going to get straight into it. And as I said, if you guys... Do know someone who could really use this help um, please share it and comment shared below and I'm just going to run through a few different um... <laughs> a friend Beck McMillan made it for me it's smoky quartz and clear quartz um, so within this and using kinesiology I'm going to 
share a few statements with you guys. So these statements are going to be different statements that probably won't feel true for you in your body. But once we do the clearing and the emotional clearing, it, it'll become more of an embodiment for you. So you'll let go of the past emotion or the story or the belief that's, that's underneath that particular um, statement. And we'll clear it so that you can come back into, into presence with that statement and actually believe that it could be possible for you, right? Um, so shopping, socially drinking, never a positive outcome. Yeah. So before we drop into this, uh, make sure you have some water or, um, or a cup of tea or whatever, that, or whatever that is for you. Make sure you're comfortable and in a space where you won't be distracted. It's not going to matter too much, but it will be helpful if um, you won't be distracted. <sighs> cool. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to give you guys a few statements to say, and it's important that you say it and, and feel how it, said, how it feels to say that. And notice the difference after we do the clearing of how it feels in your body to say that this particular statement. Um, and so when I say these statements, and when you guys say these statements, I'm going to test the field. So I'll test how clear the collective energy is towards that particular statement. And then I will test the, diff the different emotions that are stored in the field that need to be released and, and guide you to rubbing different places on your body to release those particular emotions. So our organs in our body hold our emotions. So in our heart, in our spleen, in our, um, in our spleen and stomach, in our liver, um, kidneys, bladder, they all hold our emotions in our body. So we also have meridian points and meridian lines that run along our body in which we can rub and activate those, those meridians to then be able to breathe out the emotion that is stored there underneath the belief or the statement or whatever it is, you know. Um, let me know if you are getting that. Do you all understand me? Are you resonating? Let me know if you... Um, if you get it, it's quite simple and I'm going to guide you through this space, but just like drop me a yes if you get it and if you're ready. Totally get it. Awesome. So much. Yes. Epic. Love it, love it. Roger Dickey, yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. <sighs> Perfect. Perfect. All right. Awesome, yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. We've got it. We've got it. All right. So before we start, I'm going to get everyone to take just three deep breaths. I'll guide the breaths and then we'll drop into the statements. Okay. So on three, taking one deep breath in through the nose. Uh, and exhale, sigh through the mouth. Uh, Another one, big inhale through the mouth. Uh, and exhale, sigh. One last deep, deep breath, inhale. Uh, and sigh and give a little shake. Coming back to your body. Okay. <sighs> And make sure when we go along this process, you share with me what it is that you're feeling, what comes up for you, 
and up in the description above you have the, the option is my link where you can follow me um, where I do these clearings a lot more as well so yeah the first statement is health and vitality is my highest priority yeah so on three two one I want you to say health and vitality is my highest priority yeah so, so three two one health and vitality is my highest priority <sighs> Field now, how clear that is a collective for that statement. What emotions are present? Yeah, so instantly there's grief that's coming up. It's grief, right? And grief is stored in the lungs. So individually and collectively i want you to feel and just close your eyes and feeling into what that grief could mean for you around your health and vitality being your highest priority I'm just breathing and being with that keeping your eyes closed <sighs> maybe it's something that happened in the past or grief around not being able that thing not being possible for you, feeling what that grief could mean. And with this one, you should have rub, rub on just on the inside of the armpits and down the chest. This is our lung meridian where grief is stored. So you can open up your chest a little bit, taking deep breath. Ah, and with your breath as your intention, just letting go of that grief. Yeah. Just breathing it out, you might may experience coughing or sighing or yawning. There's so many different ways in which our body can express and release emotion. So just rubbing on this point, taking breath. Ah, and just letting go of any grief around your health and vitality being your highest priority. Maybe we have some mothers here. Maybe there's mothers who have a story of, no, I need to take care of my kids first. Or no, I need to put someone else first. And, and that grief is, you know, realizing how much you haven't looked after yourself. So again, just rubbing on this point here. Ah, just letting go of any grief. <sighs> <sighs> okay. So we're going to test that statement again. So we'll test those statements a few times and make sure they're clear. And each of the emotions that come up uh, have been released so we can be in full presence with that statement. Yeah. So again, on three, two, one, my health and vitality is my highest priority. Is a collective on that statement. Yeah, so there's regret. Instantly I feel regret that's coming up, which could mean that regret of not taking something or taking action towards your health and vitality being your highest priority for so long, or regretting how far your health has gone bad or whatever it is for you. What, what, what could this regret mean for you around your health and vitality being your highest priority? And for those of you who are just joining recently, um, just follow along. You'll, you'll get to get the hang of it when we go, go through it. So regret as well is held in the lungs here, right? So just rubbing on this point on the inside of the armpits and on the chest, taking a deep breath. Uh, and just letting go, breathing out the emotion of regret around your health and vitality being your highest priority. 
Uh, and just feel where this regret could be present in your body. Where it would show in your body and just breathing into it, rubbing this point. Uh, and just letting it go, breathing it out. Just giving your body a bit of a shake. Just allow the body to do its thing and release emotion. And taking one last deep breath. And just coming back to center. And I'll say the statement again. I want you to say on three. Health and vitality is my highest priority. Three, two, one. Health and vitality is my highest priority. It's moving into the collective field. How clear is the collective on this statement? Yeah, so that feels good. Much better. How's everybody feeling after that? Can you notice any, any shifts or energy moving within your body? Mm. Okay. So the next statement. <laughs> the next statement I'm going to share with you guys is homeostasis, right? So who knows what homeostasis is? Homeostasis is a state of being within our body in which we can heal. It's a, a state of balance. It's a, a state of no stress. And basically homeostasis gives us the ability or gives our body the ability to do what it naturally does. And that is heal, that is cleanse, that is rejuvenate, that is recover, that is repair muscle tissue, that is relax. So I guess another way to put it is homeostasis is our relaxed body state. Yes, shifts feel lighter, yawning lots, perfect, perfect. I feel lighter, awesome, thank you for your comments guys. Yes, homeostasis in life daily is so powerful. Um, and I wish that for you too, sister. So the next statement is homeostasis is my body's most consistent way of being. Yeah. So in three, two, one, homeostasis is my most consistent way of being. statement what emotions are present in the collective around that statement yeah so instantly there's a lot of anger so there's anger that's come up around that statement and anger is the one one of the core emotions that stops us from our stops us from our body going into homeostasis because it's kind of like another uh, form of stress, right? If we're angry all the time, that's, that's stressing our body. So I want you to feel into individually what this anger could mean for you. Why could you feel anger around home, your body? Most it's your body's most consistent way of being, being homeostasis. Not being too attached to it, just feeling where you could feel this anger in your body. If it was present, where would this anger be stored in your body around homeostasis being your body's most consistent way of being? Just breathe into it. And this one, I want you to rub just below you know, the right nipple, so just this underneath here. Um, from the gallbladder and the liver meridians. Just rubbing on that point, 
taking a deep breath. Ah, I'm just making any sound you feel like to release this anger. Yeah. Notice where this anger or these sensations are appearing in your body. Ah, with your breath, breathing into them and letting them go. Just breathing it out. Ah, letting go of any anger within your body right now. You may want to primal scream. You may want to grab a pillow. You may want to shake or sigh loudly. Whatever your body, like ask your body how it wants to express this anger. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> okay. Coming back to the center again, just taking another deep breath. And exhale, sigh. Ah. And three, two, one. Homeostasis is my body's most consistent way of being. Okay, I'm testing the field again for that statement. How clear is the collective in that particular statement? Emotions are present. Yeah, so. Another emotion that's come up is pissed off. So being pissed off around, well, being pissed off is also going to stop us from our body going into homeostasis, right? Because that's another form of stress as well. Anger, pissed off, and they're very similar. If we're pissed off and angry all the time, how can we relax? How can our body relax into homeostasis and, and healing? Right. So this one um, is going to rub just above the bladder, or well, just on the bladder, right? So the bla uh, what does it say? Pissed off. The emotion of pissed off is still in the bladder. So just rubbing on that point here, uh, and just breathing it out, breathing, breathing through the emotion of being pissed off and. Maybe that emotion doesn't resonate with you. Maybe anger doesn't, but knowing as well that these emotions are what is present within the collective. So think of it like helping other people to clear their stuff around these statements as well. <sighs> I feel like something is in back my throat and pressure back in my neck. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Notice, notice the different sensations in your body. Notice where any pain or whatever it is that shows up, breathe into it, bring awareness to it and just kind of breathe through it and with your in breath as your intention to release it. <sighs> just let it go. Okay. So three, two, one, I'm going to say this, get you guys to say the statement again, right? So three, two, one, Homeostasis is my body's most consistent way of being. Mm, I'm always pissed off. This is meant for me. <laughs> Perfect, sister. So grateful. Okay, so testing the statement for that, uh, testing the collective for that statement around homeostasis. How clear? Cool. Much better. All right. So the next statement is going to get us a bit buzzing, right? It's a, it's a statement that I put together because I wanted to be able to incorporate all the different body systems, the organs, the cells, the, the immune system, the endocrine system, all the th different parts of our body that help our bioenergetic field to help our resonance, to help our frequency to, to rise and to be in resonance to heal and to feel good. And that statement is my entire bioenergetic field is resonating at its highest possible frequency. 
But just say that firstly and just see how that feels, right? And I'll say it again. My entire bioenergetic field is resonating as at its highest possible frequency. How's that feel? Just top and type in the comments how that feels to say that statement. Do you notice any tingling or any sensations come up? Let me know in the comments. You're welcome, Lisa. <sighs> Feels awesome. Right foot. Yeah, perfect. Like it's a right reminder of something I already know, but I'd forgot. Mm, a big breath came up. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. So... On three, I'm going to get you guys to say that statement again. So three, two, one. My entire bioenergetic field is resonating at its highest possible frequency. Feel tingling in my feet. Perfect. Okay. How clear is the collective on that particular statement? What emotions are around that statement? Yeah. Donna, I feel more relaxed to say that than other phrase tonight. Perfect. <sighs> okay, so regret has come up in the field. So regret, self to self, so regret of self. Um, just feeling what that regret could mean for you. Not having to attach to a story just, just feeling, feeling that regret, feeling what this regret could feel like in your body around your entire bioenergetic field resonating in its highest possible frequency. <sighs> just breathing into it, being with it, any sensations, anything that arises. And I just want you to rub on the inside of the armpits and down the chest. <sighs> and just letting go of that regret. Yeah, not having enough time for myself. Perfect. Felt like I was floating on the couch. Amazing. <sighs> so breathing out. <sighs> letting go of the emotion of regret. <sighs> <sighs> Make sure you're breathing, using your breath as your intention to release the regret. Uh, I'm just having a little shake. <sighs> okay. So again, on three. Three, two, one. My entire bioenergetic field is resonating as it, at its highest possible frequency. Okay, what emotions are coming up in the collective around that particular statement? Mm. There's resentment as well. So I'm just going to keep this rolling a bit quicker as I'm running out of time. Just breathing and just being with that resentment yourself. You don't have to comment. Just feeling what this resentment could mean for you around that statement. And as you drop into that resentment, I want you to rub just below your right breast or nipple on the gallbladder meridian. Taking a deep breath, ah, just letting go of any resentment around that last statement. Oh, breathing in, ah, 
letting go, resentment in your body. <sighs> ah. <sighs> mm. Okay. So coming back to your breath. Three, two, one. Again, my entire bioenergetic field is resonating as a, at its highest possible frequency. In tune with the collective in that statement. How clear are we? Cool. Feels good. It feels really good. 10 out of 10. How's that feel now? Drop in the comments. One word, how you feel after that. <sighs> Love hearts, beautiful, relaxed, amazing. So I'm going to move into the very last statement. <laughs> Seeing you guys love hearts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for the love. <sighs> You're so welcome. Okay, so there's one last finishing statement to kind of grasp this all together. So on three, I just want you, to guys, want you guys to repeat after me, right? I'll say it slowly. The three, two, one, the infinite healing presence within me is now transforming every atom of my being, making me whole and perfect. I'll say it again. The infinite healing presence within me is now transforming every atom of my being, making me whole and perfect. <sighs> Tuning in to the collective in that statement. How clear is everyone on that statement? Oh, brilliant. So I'm going to say it with you guys one more time. Say it with me, closing down your eyes. <sighs> okay, so three, two, one. The infinite healing presence within me is now transforming every atom of my being, making me whole and perfect. Hmm. Testing collective on that statement, how clear is the collective? Hmm. No clearing to be done. We're good. <sighs> so thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Um, I do these types of clearings all the time um, on my Facebook page um, and in, in private groups. But I'd love for you to, to reach out to, with me. Make sure um, you drink a lot of water, right? Um, through, through these emotional clearing processes, there can be a lot of emotions that now have the ability to move through your body right so to help them to move make sure you keep your fluids up um thank you thank you Haley. yeah so guys the um my link to my page is just in the description above right if that's where you can find me send me a message um, but i'd love to hear how that experience was for you was there, was there anything in particular that came up? Um, was there any realizations that came through for you? Thumbs up, love hearts, awesome. <laughs> so glad. So we still got another 15 minutes. That went a little bit quicker than I thought, but um, I guess this is a, a good opportunity for you guys to ask me any questions as well that you may have. And um, yeah, 
<laughs> yes, I am Emma's boyfriend. <laughs> So do you guys have any, any particular questions for me? Enjoyed the experience, many real, realizations and released. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. I'm glad everyone has enjoyed this. Uh, as I said, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourself. This, this, if you haven't done any of these processes before, or specifically clearing, um, there can be a, a piece of integration, right? So, like, take care of yourself. Drink lots of water. Um, maybe take some time to to sit with what came up for you and, and journal. Um, but the main thing is just keeping your fluids up, and and looking after yourself, and taking your health and vitality as your highest priority. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, as I said, my Facebook page is in the description above, above. And if you are watching the replay, I would recommend going back to the start and um, waiting till I finish this video and watching the whole thing through. And for, as I said, um, there is no time within this process, right? This is on a quantum level and anyone that wants to join in to this anytime whether you're watching the replay or you're coming back to it or whatever it doesn't matter um, it will still hurt still help right uh, yes Jean it could very much help get your nervous system to work again for sure for sure um, that's what it's meant to do right and so yeah if as I said, Kerry, yeah, if you if you came on late, go back to the start. Um, I'll finish this video up in a couple of minutes and you can watch the whole video through and just, you know, be really present with it and just be taken through this whole process. OK, um, so again, find me in the description above. Uh, Emma and myself will be showing up every Tuesday at 8.15. Um, I've forgotten what the name of the show is actually called. I think it's sacred health and embodied freedom so we'll be showing up and giving uh, different takes and experiences and embodiment and relationships and, and health and and business and freedom and and so many other things and and really helping you guys to understand us better understand yourselves better and just really release if you've experienced releasing some emotion here um, emotions are what really hold us back in life right um, and so when we can clear these specific emotions and, and really tune into our intuition as what Emma is so amazing at, um, we can really start to live our health as our highest priority and really start to choose our life for ourselves first. And therefore, helping the people around us to do the same and so on and so forth, right? <sighs> so... I'm going to finish up here. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me. Um, again, follow me in the description above. Share this video if you know someone who could really use this type of clearing and, and the help with you know, getting their health back on track and, and whatnot. So yeah, reach out, send me a message and I'll see you next Tuesday at 8.15. Love you all guys. Thank you for being with me. And I'll see you soon.